What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're gonna be building one of the most unique and minimal PCs I've ever built on the channel. It's gonna be a nice build montage. We'll talk about the specs and the hardware and stuff at the end, but trust me, you're gonna to wanna to stay put for this one. Because the star of the show here is the Motif Monument Chassis by Yule Beast Designs. It's such a unique and modern looking piece that is just beautifully crafted from top to bottom. It consists of three pieces of steel that were laser cut, bent, and welded together to give it this seamless appearance. And in the end, it's an open aired marvel. This is a small form factor mini ITX case meant to keep the overall footprint down while still standing out. Even down to the finish of this case, it's super smooth from the glass beading process and the wet coat painting on the steel. In the end, yields this stealthy matte perfection. But for now, let's start off the build montage. Man, so I have to say, hands down, I think one of the nicest builds I've ever done in terms of aesthetics. I'm still kind of torn about that RGB fan frame, uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But for now, let's just talk about the hardware and the whole build process. So on the back of the chassis is a cutout for the power button. And even that is kept really minimal and stealthy here. And that's also where now I have the Wi-Fi antenna for my motherboard, just takes right on the back. And since there was a separate back plate for the frame, uh, that really helps keep the back of the build clean with all the cables and stuff really tucked between the two frames. Into the hardware, I used an Intel i7-8700 CPU on the Asus Strix B360i motherboard. I had that CPU from an older build, so I figured I'd repurpose that for this desktop PC instead of just buying a new one. And with the Monument chassis, obviously it needs to really be an ITX motherboard for it to fit here, so I paired the CPU with that. And the board also has integrated lighting with their Asus or a Sync. For the cooler, I went with the Be Quiet Dark Rock TF. Uh, it fits, it's slightly too big for my liking, so I may look to kind of change that out later on down the line. It was also a pain to install, but at least Be Quiet is known for their quality hardware with fans and coolers. So I'll have this for now. 
For RAM, I threw in two six of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM for the extra flair. 16 gigs totals here. We'll probably just keep these a static color. That rainbow stuff I showed before was just to add visually to the montage. Our GPU is the newer EVGA GTX 1660 Ti. It's the XC model, so it is smaller. And the thing here was just to find a powerful but small size GPU at the same time, so it won't stick out too far from the side of the case and really be an eyesore. Now it is a three slot GPU, so it's kind of cutting it close to the bottom of the frame there, but it still works. And you know, ideally you'd want like one of the mini card series out there, like I know Gigabyte, they have the mini GPUs. And an ideal fit would be the EVGA 1060, cause they, you know, it's two slots, it's just around six inches and it lines up perfectly with the side of the case here, dimensions wise. Uh, but for now, I wanted to check out that new uh, 1660 Ti XC, see if it would be a fit and so far, so good. Now our cables here are the real tip of the cap to an already stunning build. These are from Mainframe Customs to do an absolutely great job with their custom cables. From the colors to the combs, I went with a black carbon and blue design for the motherboard since you know I was originally kind of planning a black and blue build. And the CPU and GPU cables are the carbon color as well to really give that, that blue 24 pin cable that pop. They go into the Corsair SF600 power supply and using an SFX PSU was ideal for the mount and again kind of cut down the overall bulk. Then lastly for storage, I have two terabytes of the Western Digital Black NVMe SSDs, one terabyte in the front and one in the back. Their SN750 lineup is just blazing fast with speeds up to 3400 megabytes per second. So I figured having two terabytes make this thing crazy quick. And uh, you can also pick those up with like the really cool black heat sink and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's good stuff from Western Digital. And the overall purpose of this build was to kind of tie this whole minimal setup I have going on behind me. I've been showing it off piece by piece. You've probably seen it in previous videos of like B-roll and stuff in the background. But I wanted to start to complete a secondary minimal setup like this in the studio. And a PC like this, I think, is the perfect fit. I'm going to do a dedicated tour and all that stuff, a dedicated video on this setup. but. I think the PC is going to be a nice addition for sure. Now I said before I'm kind of torn about those fan frames. I'm going to keep that one that I have in the back, but the, the front one I have here is what's kind of, you know, playing with me. I'm not too sure because I know, you know, yes, minimal PC, you're not going to want to riddle it with RGB, but at the same time, my kind of purpose is to keep it just one static color. But these fan frames, they're the, the digital Halo Lux uh, fan frames from Fantex. I showed them off before. Again, uh, I just have it mounted on the front with the cooler and on the back of the frame. So it would have been a lot more clean and minimal if I didn't have these on. Uh, but again, if I swap out that front CPU cooler, I'll probably ditch it. Uh, just for now, I just wanted to add a little bit extra flair and pop to the build to really kind of make it stand out even more. But in the end, guys, a crazy nice and clean PC with the Motif Monument from the Yule Beast Designs. I'm absolutely loving it. And like I said, I think it's just one of the most unique looking PCs I've ever seen. And in the end, one of my favorite builds that I've ever done. So uh, I wanna hear your guys' opinions. Do you like this? Should I ditch the fan frame? Should I pick up, you know, a new cooler like I said? I wanna hear all your thoughts down below. And guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. I'm gonna put all the hardware and stuff in the description down below so you can check it out. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.